Hello, Camly learners. My name is Mike, and I'm a tutor here at Camly. So, in the video of today, what are we going to cover? We're going to cover what is the past perfect. So, we're going to see what that is, then how is it built. We're going to see some examples, and then we're going to see differences between the past simple, the present perfect, and the past perfect. So, then what is the past perfect? Well, it is used to describe an action that is affecting a particular point to another particular point in the past, right? You want to be very specific when you're using the past perfect. When you're using the simple past, just the simple one, you're talking about something that happened in the past in comparison to the present. So the reference point relies in the present. But when you're talking about the past perfect, the reference point is going to be in the past. So something that happens in the past, and then it is affecting all the way to some specific point in the past, okay? So an example of a simple, uh, of a simple past would be something like this. He fixed his car. You don't really, you're not being specific. You're just saying he already fixed his car some point in the past. But if you want to give more detail, he had fixed his car before it broke down on Monday. So now you're adding an extra piece of information. So you're adding two ideas in one, right? We're going to make it more clear on the timeline. So when is the past perfect useful? Well, like I mentioned, when you combine two ideas in the same timeline and explain one has been accomplished before the other one happens. That's like an easier way to see it. So let's put as an example. We have the first thing that happened. I took a bath at 7 a.m. And the second thing that happened is I had breakfast at 9 a.m. So how do I combine these two ideas in the, in the same sentence and make sense out of it? So you can say, when I saw you in breakfast, I had already taken a shower. That means when I saw you, I, I was already showered, right? So now we're gonna see how the past perfect is built. So first you need a subject plus had plus the past participle plus an object, okay? So that is the basic formula. So let's see an example. Andy had read the article before the exam, right? So you have a subject which is Andy plus had plus the past participle, which is read, plus the object, which is what's happening. That it would be the article before the exam. Those two events that are, are correlated, right? Let's see another example. I had been to Canada before his birthday. So first we have the subject, which is I, plus the had, plus the past participle, which in this case would be been, and then the object, which is to Canada before his birthday. The two ideas that are going to get connected together, all right? So now we're going to see the main difference between the present perfect and the past perfect. So in the present perfect, you have I, we, you, and they have, and he, she, and it, has plus the past participle, right? But in the past perfect, you have I, we, you, they, he, she, and it all plus the had plus the past participle, right? So that is uh, the main difference between both, right? So now we're going to do a review with a timeline that is going to explain simple past versus present perfect versus past perfect. So here we have the timeline. So let's go with the simple past first. So something that happened in the past, right? He fixed his car, right? Then you have the present perfect, which is something that is affecting in the past all the way to the present, right? So this, is, this statement would be true till now. For example, he has fixed his car. Right? And the last one would be the past perfect. When we have something that happened in the past 
It is affecting until some point in the past, but it's not relevant to the point of now, right? So he had fixed his car before it broke down on Monday. So from before till Monday, it was fixed, but it broke down on Monday and now to the now, it's not fixed. So you use this to give further detail about things that are happening and comparing two events. For those who are unfamiliar with Camly, Camly gives you instant access to friendly native speakers just like me. You can take your English lessons anytime, anywhere, from your computer, from your tablet, from your phone, very easy. So you can schedule your next lesson with me on the link below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.